Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. Today is Christmas in July. So for the next 25 days, I will be giving you guys short stories, uh, true tales about my journey in medical billing and coding. Um, I'm gonna start off with uh, my, my first day of medical billing and coding school and what that was like. Um, so I hope you enjoy this series for the next 25 days. I will be airing this uh, midday, this, these uh, videos during the day so that it doesn't interfere <laughs> with my 7.30 show during the weekdays. Um, so you even will get me on the weekends. So uh, I hope that you enjoy this and I hope that by sharing uh, more of myself that uh, you guys will learn more from my experience and hopefully it will inspire you, hopefully it will motivate you, <laughs> and hopefully you'll learn from the things that I've learned from. So, let us begin. All right, so it was my first day of school, and yes, it's gonna sound a little nerdy, <laughs> but I did get a new backpack for school. I got a new backpack for school, and I had gotten markers, and I had gotten new pins, like a new set of pins, and I had gotten some like index cards and stuff like that and some spiral notebooks you know and, and not that they had told me that I needed any of this stuff um, but they just told me that to be prepared um, to start studying on the first day because I was gonna have orientation and they were gonna tell me about like the facility itself and then they were gonna you know turn me loose into you know the, the program so I said okay um, so they had told me that this was all self-paced so I wasn't gonna be part of a class but there was going to be other students around me um, that were medical coding students, but everybody was going to be at a different, um, different module uh, because everybody was going to go at a different pace. <laughs> they said that this program typically lasts nine months and that you could go however fast you wanted to go, but um, that you could not go more than one year. And so by one year you needed to be done, but typically, people were getting through in nine months. So I said, oh, okay. Um, so they had given me an orientation and they were telling me that um, they don't have instructors, but that they did have a, um, a veteran medical coder who would come in and uh, do seminars during the week, a couple days during the week. And that if I wanted to attend, that those were typically in the evenings because he worked during the day. <laughs> so he would come by at night and he would give these classes to everybody and just talk about different things. So even if I wasn't in that particular module, I could still attend um, because it was just getting me prepared for that module. So um, if I wanted to wait um, till I got to that module, you know, it, you never knew what he was going to talk about um, during those classes. So it was really all up to him, you know, and so um, they said that he typically would wait and see what people were going to ask for and that was what he kind of designed his his classes around so I said okay um, but they did tell me I remember because he wasn't there for like a month and they said that he was going to be out for a month but that he was going to be back the next month and that you know by then I was going to be probably somewhere in medical terminology and that um, I was still going to be a ways off, but you know, if I wanted to sit in and listen, that I could totally do that. So I said, okay. And then they were saying, they were showing me around the facility, which it was a trade school. So they had different rooms set up and they were all set up kind of the same. They had rows of desks with computers and it looked like a computer lab, right? <laughs> so they were like, not bullpens quite, but they did have like partitions in between them. And they had headphones and everything so that, you know, you could use headphones if you needed to and study. And there's plenty of workspace um, if you needed to spread out with books and things like that. So they had those and then they had like a whole room that was like for like the seminars and things like that. So they said, you know, if you wanted to, like, I think it was like 630 at night that he would be there um, when the instructor <laughs> would come in. So I said, OK. And they said, that this is self-paced, so you could go at any pace that you wanted to. Um, so however fast you go through this module, as long as you passed the final test for that module, um, they would give you your next set of books. Now, I am motivated by books. <laughs> I am a nerd and I love books, I will say that. Um, so I did get um, excited when I heard 
that you get all these books, right? But you get them as you go because they were saying that when they were issuing them to the people like right out of the gate, when they first got there, um, people, they were finding that people would just drop out and then they would lose all of that, <laughs> um, all those books and those books would just go to waste. So they started to issue them as people would get done with the modules. So I said, okay. Um, so I, the first books that they did issue me though, um, was I think the reimbursement book and my um, medical dictionary. I got that. And then I got a pharmacology book. I remember getting that. <laughs> and then I got an abbreviations book. So I did get those four books in the beginning. So I was very excited about that because I had my new backpack and I had books to put in my backpack. So I was very excited. And they told me that um, I could set my own hours, that they didn't have like a requirement um, like, but they said, typically you should be there at least one hour. If you're going to study in, in the lab or in, in the, in the facility that you need to be there at least an hour, because that way you can sign in and show that you were there. Okay. And now with the workforce, I believe I had a certain amount of time I needed to be clocked in and I can't remember how many hours it was anymore, but I know I had to be there for a certain amount of time, a few hours, um, during the week. And so I said, okay, well, I'm just going to start off by doing like six to eight hours, depending on, you know, if I got tired or whatever, I could just leave early. Um, but I always made sure that I was there. So they said that they didn't need, they didn't need a schedule, <laughs> but that, um, just to be consistent because they said that when you are doing this independently, you know, being consistent is the key because there's, you have nobody over you to tell you, hey, you need to get on the ball. This is all your own thing in your own show. So they said you have to be able to stay on task and make sure that you are getting through the program because, you know, if you didn't, you know, there was, there was consequences for not completing the program. And I didn't, I didn't want to have to pay back <laughs> money. I wanted to be able to get through this program and start my new career. You know, I was going through a divorce at the time and it was very difficult for me. I mean, I was I was going through heartbreak. You know, you're going through heartbreak and you know, you're you're going through so many things, you know, when you're when you're going through divorce. Divorce is hard. And of course, I'll probably have to talk about that in another episode, but <laughs> uh divorce is hard. And at the time, of course, um getting through this program was my whole goal. And not ever having any background in medical, I knew that I was going to be in for a challenge, right? And I was okay with this challenge because I love to read and reading is not difficult for me. Studying is not difficult for me, but I had been out of school for quite a few years. You know, I'd been delivering phone books for a living <laughs> uh, before I got into this. So uh, it's, it's quite a change. <laughs> <laughs> and again, not having any background in medical at all and not really wanting to get into the medical field. That was never where my head was. You know, uh, if you've been with my channel for a while, you, you may know that I wanted to be an attorney growing up. And that was where my head was the whole time I was in school when I was young, you know, in high school and everything. I wanted to be an attorney. You know, elementary school is where it started. I was like, I'm going to be an attorney one day. You know, I'm going to be an attorney and, you know, I'm going to you know, be this, this wonderful attorney that, you know, helps all these people and things like that and fights for justice. And, <laughs> oh yeah, I was very idealistic <laughs> about that, about being in that field, you know, but anyway, uh, going on, you know, uh, but being very excited and, and just sort of looking around and being this wide eyed student and just like, okay, I'm, I'm back in school again, you know, and then I, I remember thinking on that first day, you know, when I get finished here, you know, this is going to change everything. And I, I remember thinking that, you know, I remember thinking this is literally going to change everything. And I didn't realize how true that statement was. And even though I had no idea, again, what I was in for, um, all I knew was that this was something that was going to be an adventure. And I remember having this conversation with my mom. <laughs> she was like, this is going to be an adventure for you. This is something that's so different from anything that you've ever wanted to do, you know, and I have to agree because it's true. 
when, again, when you're thinking you'll never get into medical, <laughs> you know, um, because I was just like, I, I can't, I can't deal with blood. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't do needles, you know, and that's what, that's what I told my caseworker too, because uh, I was going through the WIOA program and, um, that was how I got my funding for my school. And so, um, you know, just knowing that I had this and, and was going through this and I said, when he mentioned it, though, he was like, oh, what about medical coding? And I said, oh, I don't work with needles, you know, because I was so sure. I heard medical, so I was like, clearly, this has to be with needles. <laughs> this has to be poking people, and I can't do that. And, and he's like, no, no, it's just reading, you know. So I showed up for the school, and there I was, you know. Uh, but I felt like I made a good choice, even though this was very, um, very independent. They, that's what they were very clear about. This is very independent and you are, are gonna take this at your own pace. There's other students here that are going through the same program, but they're gonna be further along or they're gonna be brand new, <laughs> just like you. And so some of these people have had to go through this program a couple of times because studying independently is different for everyone. And so that's what they made sure they were very clear about during this orientation too. So I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, I'm. I'm sure that this is what I want to do. Um, I don't know how this is going to go yet, uh, but I know that I'm excited for this and I know I'm going to give it everything I got, you know, when they said, we like that idea. <laughs> we like that because it's important. It's important for you when you are, are going in that you, you have this, this mindset and that you stay with it because they said, we, we're not going to be on you. If you drop out, you drop out. If you don't show up for weeks, you get dropped from the program. So I said, no, I'm going to be here. You know, I'm going to be here. So, <laughs> but yes, that was my first day at school. And it was so exciting. And, you know, I didn't, I never thought it was going to lead to all of this, to getting my first job and, you know, traveling and being away, you know, traveling away from my home, leaving home, and then trying to find my way back home, which for the next 25 days, I'll be talking about a lot of firsts <laughs> and a lot of, a lot of my stories and, and how was my first day at work and um, what was it like when I finished my school, you know, so that's another episode to look forward to. So, um, but yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. Um, I got into a routine after that. Uh, of coming in like I did six to eight hours a day at the school and then I would come home and I would do more studies because I was so determined just to kind of get through and I, what I would do is I would review a lot of the things that had gone over um, during during the course and then I, when I was getting my books I would look at the books and I would start by reading the questions in the books um, like, you know how they have the, the review sections where you review your knowledge, check your knowledge? I would start reading those questions and then I would start reading the section itself in the chapter. So that did help. It, it helped a lot with the memory retention uh, because it was knowing what they were looking for. And, and I actually, you know, started doing that um, because, you know, I started to learn that that's how you can know what to expect. If I know the questions, I know what to expect. And that was the, the whole lesson from the very first week. You know what to expect. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you know, I could do this. And so, you know, that, it just kind of set the pace and set the tone for the rest of my story, you know, going through this program. So, but more to come on that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. That was my first day of school. Um, was I scared? No, I was excited. I would have to say that I was excited. Um, I didn't feel any fear until I was actually starting to look for jobs. <laughs> but again, that'll be on another video. Um, but as far as starting school, no. Um, I think with school, because I've always loved school, that that was something that was not scary for me, you know? So yeah, I was ready and I was excited. So, and like I said, it led me here. And here I am. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for joining me for this first episode of um, 
Christmas in July. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please like and subscribe. Um, and if you love this, I hope you share it. So I will see y'all on the next episode. Bye.